what's up what's up guys it's me your boy dragon masters 525 aka keon coming at you with another top 10 list for this video and we're going to be covering my top 10 shiny pokemon for generation 6 so without further ado let's jump right into it number 10 so first up on this top 10 list we have the grass type starter chestnut and its evolutionary line i really think this pokemon is pretty cool its color palette is a standard green color that you normally see in other grass type pokemons in terms of their thematic what's cool about this shiny pokemon is that it changes its green color in its first two stages with brown and yellow accents um you can see that in quality specifically and then chestnut gets this drastic changes which looks so fire its white parts turn to this cream color and it gets deeper green for its legs and shell while still keeping that brown color from its previous evolutions. I think this is a saucy shiny and it's worth hunting to have in any teams or collection. Have fun soft resetting though. Number 9 the second Pokemon on this list is the Fennekin line. What's cooler than having a Fox starter Pokemon? Having a Fox Pokemon that's gray like ash with tips that look like fire. Fennekin, I think, has a saucy shiny, but when it turns to Brakesian and Delphox, it gets a super nice deep lavender color for its body while still retaining its gray and scarlet color. It creates a nice blend that's just so wicked. Besides Chespin being a starter Pokemon uh, with a nice shiny, Fennekin packs some heat with competition for possible shinies, which you can find while soft resetting for it it's a nice shiny pokemon to have and to start your adventure with number eight for the number eight spot you'll be surprised but it's greninja normally i wouldn't have all three starters on a list but i feel like for generation six every starter pokemon uh have for some reason like a sh fire shiny variant it's super insane for froakie and frogadier i personally think it's a little lackluster because it's a paler sky blue while frogadier has some pale darker blue color but woohoo greninja recovers that with a jet black shiny with a red tongue and white accents it looks like an insane ninja it really gives me ninja scroll vibes if i'm being honest and if you're looking for a cool water type pokemon with an unorthodox shiny because let's be honest all water type pokemon suffer from purple wave syndrome but i definitely think this pokemon is uh, worth soft resetting for number seven for this spot, I added Talonflame in its evolutionary line. I think it's a really cool shiny, and it's super unique. When I look at Talonflame and its evolutions, I feel like there's this darker scarlet filter that's over the Pokemon, and I think it's super cool to look at, with the exception of Talonflame itself, because it gets this alternate red color for its wings. The shiny Pokemon is super worth it, and I think in my opinion, it's easy to get in abundant, but I also think that it looks way more... I don't know, it just looks way more like soft in terms of color especially with that alternate red that it gives it gives this weird pop to it if you ever need a good flying type on your team definitely choose fletching try shining hunting for it who knows you might get lucky number six Next, coming in hot into the number 6 spot is Fufro. This Pokemon is unique because it's a standard white color and in X and Y you were able to bring it to the groomers to give an alternate appearance. Now what's cool is that the white color of Fufro gets, gets changed to this black color for its fur coat. I think this Pokemon deserves to be on this list because of the many alternate appearances you can give Fufro, especially with its new shiny black fur coat. It's definitely a Pokemon worth shiny hunting just for the appearance alone, especially since it has multiple appearances due to the groomer. Number 5 now for number five we have aegislash this also has to be such an interesting shiny when you look at hone edge you see that it wears a red ribbon with red eyes and a purple color towards its ribbon hand then when it evolves you see dew blade with a dark purple ribbon with yellow hands while still retaining its red eyes and my favorite part about the whole line aegislash changes everything up with a black body with yellow for its ribbon hands and red accents for its blade this has to be a crazy shiny pokemon the evolution of the colors is crazy and i'm super impressed with it really and that's why i ended up coming into the number five spot number four one of the most interesting ghost type pokemon in generation six i think is definitely trevenant and phantom I so love the fact that both Phantom and Trevenant changes its tree-like colors for a pale white bark color and red leaves. It's such a good shiny and I find it fits the ghost thematic because of how spooky it looks and what's wild to me is that it's just so good. I think it also really fits the whole fall thematic as well. Like white bark is normally for like either sick trees or spooky trees you know and red leaves are normally like um, for trees that are changing through the seasons. 
I think it really fits, and I think it definitely is one of the best ghost type Pokemon in Generation 6 in terms of its shiny for me. Number 3. Pumpkaboo and Gorgeous comes into the number 3 spot. I love pumpkins and I love the fact that their thematic is a spooky ghost pumpkin monster. So both bonds have the same color palette, a light brown color for the body for Pumpkaboo and the orange body for Gorgeous, and it's the opposite. Um, its shiny variants are so cool on top of that. Pumpkaboo is black with yellow eyes and a purple body and Gorgeous flips it again. It's super nice seeing a matte almost purple with this black color to counter it. It's really nice on the eyes and you get a different sizes of Pumpkaboo and Gorgeous, so hunting them is almost like picking for pumpkins if you know what I mean. It's similar to Fufuro on the list where it has alternate forms and that just means that you have more shinies to hunt, so have fun hunting. Number 2 for the number two spot, we have Tyrant and Tyrantrum. I remember the first time I saw Shiny Tyrant was when my cousin bred for one in Sun and Moon, and ever since then, I thought it was such a cool blue shiny Pokemon. Tyrant has this lighter blue color with white accents in its frill and horns plus its jaw, and for Tyrantrum, it's a deeper blue with the same white parts, but now it has black claws and gray spikes all over. It's so insane the fact that the normal colors to the line was brown and then scarlet. I think this is one of the sauciest shinies for a fossil Pokemon and I think everyone should hunt for Tyrant, especially in Generation 6. Number 1 Coming up into the number one spot, I feel as to no one's surprise, really. But for the number one, we have the shiny Sylveon. What I personally like about Sylveon is that it gets a blue shiny, but more than that, if you notice closely, is that the whole shiny is inverse when it's coloring, and with that, I think it's really nice. It's really, really nice, and it's cool. It's a hidden detail that normally most people would miss if you didn't notice it. It's inverse of the original Sylveon colors. Another cool thing about the shiny evolution is one of the few evolutions with a really good shiny compared to Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Glaceon, and Leafeon, which I feel doesn't come close to the coloring and overall design of Sylveon. And let me tell you, I really like Jolteon personally, but when I see Sylveon, it's like a sports car in terms of coloring and thematic, and the fact that it has a newer design compared to the previous evolutions, I think lands itself pretty, pretty solid on number one. I really like this shiny and that's why it comes into the number one spot. And that's it for my top 10 shiny Pokemon for generation 6. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the like or dislike button and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hit that sub button because we're on their way to 4k subscribers and hit the bell icon so you guys don't miss another video. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is me, your boy Dragon Masters 525 of the Rocky Hideout, signing out.